Are you absolutely sick of board wipes ruining your gleeful demolition million creature little army? Hello, it's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we're showing that there's more than one way to play gleeful demolition and go wide. This Jess guy list is going to make use of that combination, gleeful demolition, and so many potential artifacts, like the one from Novice Inspector, the, num the Spyglass Siren, the Experimental Synthesizer, which actually gets you value while you blow it up. Up. Voldalen Epicular, a subterranean schooner, and even the cryptic coat hanging out up here, making a little, uh, a little bit of unblockability. That's a lot of artifacts. Mirix can even make artifacts. So we'll definitely have things to blow up with Gleeful Demolition. Once we've made a little army, we can do all kinds of things with them. We can pump them with a war leader's call. We can turn our artifacts into 5 4 attackers with Zoetic, Zoetic, Zoetic Glyph, or we can just counter our opponent's spells and blow up their creatures. I like this deck because it isn't as straightforward as Boros Convoke. It has a lot of what that deck wants to do with the Gleeful Demolition, but it protects its board with Disruption Protocol, and it plays a more interesting game, at least for me, for a Control Mage. The blue stuff does exactly what you want to do with counter spells, but gives a little explosive out of nowhere ability after a board wipe with the Glyph, as you can animate a map token and just smash in there. So I hope that you enjoy this little bit of a different take uh credit goes to a list that did well in an mtgo standard event there is a sideboard if you want to try some best of three shenanigans today's video is brought to you by coolstuffinc.com use promo code cgb5 get a discount on your orders and ultimate guard the only protective products i use to protect my things it's also brought to you by one more thing at drip shop live drip shop live i will be broadcasting on saturday at 3 p.m eastern time or 2 p.m eastern time actually going live and then starting giveaways at 3 p.m eastern time that's right giveaways i'm giving away an entire case of murders at carlaw Manor Collector Boosters, and you can be from all of the countries and still win. We're going to be shipping worldwide, so mark your calendars and bookmark the stream. We are talking about Saturday, coming right up this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's also going to be a ton of other fun things to do as you're hanging out with me on Drip Shop Live. All right, let's dive in. Let the Jeskai Glyph nonsense begin. Double pain land on the draw is terrifying, but we have gleeful demolition. If they're playing mono red, we already lost. Like keeping this hand is a death sentence. I hate losing to mono red more than I hate anything, but it looks like we get away with it this time. Get a blue source down because of the disruption protocol. If we top deck another blue source, we can be holding counter spells up very quickly. Huh, what's going on? I don't think we're just gonna go for the demolition here, or are we? If I top the land, it's so good. If I top the blue source, I have counter spell up. I guess I'm supposed to go for demolition. I think. I'll use the more expensive one, the clue. Okay, I have creatures. Three mana play like a trespasser or something? This, this format's too old, man. <laughs> I've seen it all, man. All right, uh, call? We got options, that's for sure. Disruption Protocol is not one of them, but the coat is interesting. The call doesn't get us past the Trespasser, but makes attacking us really bad. Um, the Scoon Scoon can attack through the Trespasser. The coat can attack through the Trespasser. What are they gonna do, play Shieldred? And I can't counter it? Ye, you, ugh. All right coat. We gotta get damage in. Unblockable does that. Card is Otawara. Curve into Obliterator. Okay. Okay. That is kind of rough. 
I guess, though, if it's just sitting back, it doesn't hurt us. Play the Scoon Scoon. Unblockable is cool. Keep them busy. And I feel like if I get a blue source and I have a protocol to protect this situation, I'll be in such a good place. But the mana is so funky. Oh, they're gonna fight me. They're gonna fight me? They're gonna children me. Well, they had all the goods. They don't have a fight spell. Whoa. Opponent? Are you in there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ow. Now what? Now what? I feel like the surge can kill the children. If I play the call though, they're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and they're at 14. And they have to block the schooner. The schooner dies. This is really close. I think I have to kill this Shieldred, which is so mana bad for me. What am I sacking to do it? I kind of want the map token, not going to lie. I really need lands that don't hurt me. Okay, what can I tap? I can tap the coat. That is a huge one. Um, sacrifice it unless you tap an untapped artifact or thing, but it still enters tapped, gross. Okay, so schooner kill children. But I should probably keep something back in case they don't block. To eight. The problem with this is if they have the fight spell, I'm in big trouble. But most of my things don't do that much damage. I am at eight though, facing a five-five trample. It is eight to eight. This is absurdly close. I'm not blocking. I go to three. They did that pretty. Confidently. Okay. That Enough with the doesn't mystery. really affect me. I've come for answers. Oh, I've always hated what else? Edict? Uh, okay. Okay. This works, right? Got him. Caught him, Beacon. A little too aggressive. Boom. Opponent goes first. We have an all pain land hand. We can cast every spell in it, but it could definitely be a disaster against mono red. It's not mono red. That mirrors garden, huh? If it's the ramp deck, we need protocols. Disruption protocol will be the most important thing. And we draw one. Also, they play a blue-white creature land. What's going on? All right, Scoon Scoon. I would like lands that don't hurt me, um, especially for best of one. This is really bad. Five color, just control here. All right, gotta hit land here. Gotta hit land. Come on. Yes. Oh, it hurts me. <laughs> Enthusiasm failing. I don't know what they're gonna do next turn. I don't wanna give them the loot with the Celestis though.
they're gonna take the loot for themselves. Yes, of course. What is going on? Seems like full five color control. I almost expected 130 cards. Discarding a wandering emperor is a choice. A scary choice. See what we can do to him. Might need a lot of counter spells. Get lost. They want to give me map tokens. I think we say that's fine. Uh, awesome. Okay. I mean, we're drawing removal. This is okay. This is okay. Can we hit another land on top? I doubt it. We do have to get more threats on the board. They're using spot removal on these dorks. Let's let them do that. They still have stick. Is that a march? That must be a march. I don't know what else I'd even consider in that spot. So I'm not worried about a board wipe in this position. I think I'll see if I can just get them to march and try to hit land. That can go. It's not a board wipe or not a sorry. It is not a land. I need land. Thank you. Our life total is lower than theirs, but that might make their sunset revelry worse. Technology. Oh yeah, slam that memory deluge. Hey, it's, it's just really bad blue-white so far. Bang. Okay. They might fare well. They're playing on full control. You see the stick? <laughs> okay. They're playing on full control. They're just all bluff. Cool. Perfect magic, by the way. Too bad I don't have the artifact right now. Zodiac Glyph, huh? Good news, they can't deluge from graveyard here. They might deluge from hand. Now we just need to catch another farewell. Remember, only noobs lose to board wipes. It's not gonna work, is it? Not gonna work. We can hope, but they'll have another counter spell, right? Oh well. It is what it is. Interesting. Why now? They're afraid of another counter spell? Oh, I don't know about that. Opponent? Let's see what this gets us. Beautiful. Oh no. 
Oh no. Like I said, only noobs lose to board wipes. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> if I put it on the clue, it wouldn't have summoning sickness. Not like this. They'd be at three. Not like this. Just like this. Why did they? They were waiting for this to tap. <laughs> like I said, only noobs lose to board wipes. <laughs> on the play, the thoroughfares start coming down on turn two. That's pretty good. We'll keep that. It doesn't hurt us forever. That's nice. Hmm, could all about protocol on two, but that's not it. Let's go like this, tap this, demolition it. We have a squad. We have a squad. Vermin. Yeah, vermin deck is this? Roots? Roots deck. Gotta counter the roots. Okay. Well, Double Blue can do that after we play a Siren. It is really obnoxious that this little rat is gonna hold off half of our little goblin squad. Okay, it's just, woo. It's gonna be like that today. I gotcha, I gotcha. Tap this. We'll just peck away in the air. How do we get, we need to draw like the coat. We need our glyph creature to be unblockable or something. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Perfect magic the gathering. All right, get out. More skeleton, huh? Sure. Why not? What do they get back with the butler? Readers, I guess? Thinking of the price of using glyph. Uh, let's go for the sin. Murex. Okay, Murex makes artifacts. Exploration? More counter spells? I might get them to make to uh, play a counter spell here. We're not a counter spell. Play a roots here, right? So they go for the double block. Let's get the one two off the field. They'll get something back. We'll counter that. Then the next turn they won't expect the protocol and we'll counter something else. And uh, we can also get, we can get the glyph down next turn too. There's the roots. There's the counter. Yeah, I already had one, you see. Sneaky. Let's go synthesizer. Unfortunately though, we have to have an artifact. Do they have another roots? Don't risk it. Also, if we get this block, I think what they want to do is they want to get that block and they don't have it for next turn. Yep, greeters is fine. Let's 
Scoon Scoon. Here comes the 5 4. I really don't think they show blocked with that skeleton. You know they have all spells, they've been missing lands. They bring back the skeleton tapped. And they get a counter. Bang. All right, one more hit. And they know about the disruption protocol. Butler? Did the butler do it? Let it be. They might have roots, they might have land roots. What is down there? Back for seconds. Just don't let them win. We already know they're going to get another turn because of the specimen, unless we top deck the removal spell. So don't play like we're just going to get it. Actually, first we synthesize. See what we reveal. We reveal their defeat, their doom. Gotta come up with a red source, but I think I'm gonna try a novice inspector into a schooner into a counter spell on the play. Seems really good. Jetmere's Garden. A lot of weird mid range sneaking around. That's really good for a low to the ground deck. Oh, it's not weird mid-range. It's humans that uses tap lands. That alone is kind of sus to me. All right, we got to come up with a red source. So let's play the siren. Let's crew off of it. Well, mm, use the map token. See if we get that uh, a non-land. Okay, demolition unfortunately has to go bin. We have to hit the land here. Okay. Super hard mode as we put two red cards in the graveyard and miss our land drop. Maybe I was just supposed to chill on the counter spell. Just swing with the schooner, chill on the counter spell. Ah, this isn't so bad. Although now chilling on the counter spell flips the Cathar. That can be bad. Still no red source. Well, I'm definitely doing this. There it is. All right, we can chill on the counter spell. We can also keep Brutal Cathar from flipping by doing this right here, right now. They have 11 health. We're in the better position. If we counter a three drop here, that's huge. Cliff can come down and put them under tremendous, tremendous pressure. They pass. It's like they know. It's really like they know. What do they have? I don't know, but let's draw. Getting to crack that clue feels really good. All right, we found a land. Lethal Demolition. We could put the Glyph down on the schooner. I don't love it. I think I love this a lot more. We have to be careful not to double spell, though, unless we trigger the Brute. I'm wondering if they have... What do they have, right? Okay. Don't know if we're going to play that schooner, to be honest. I want to hold up the protocol. Get lost, yeah. Okay, well this gives us two map tokens. Now again, got to be careful of a double spell here. It's going to transform the brute, and I don't have a good answer to that. So we do this. 
cool. Voltage Surge. Um, once we draw that, transforming the Brute is actively good for us, because in response to them taking something of ours, we kill it. But we could play Schooner here. They transform the Brute. They get the Spyglass Iron. They have a turn to do something. And then we surge the Brute, and we get them both back. I'm a little scared of what they'll play, but I think I can overpower it. Let's do it. That's a tough call. Especially with a 3-3 Siren. If they just pass to transform it back, that is also fine. It means they didn't take advantage of the window. The Surge is face up. They might transform it back. Okay, they go for an Impacal. That is scary. Do I have to kill an Impacal? I can demolition my synthesizer into a lot of stuff. Let's see what we get. A novice inspector. All right, we send the boat because we might hit a land, which would be really good here. We don't get a land. I don't think I'll turn down the one one though. 10 to 7. God, this is close. I mean, without the Anim Pekal, their deck isn't doing much, right? Is this the turn that I can actually hold up the protocol and have it hit something? The problem with holding up the protocol, though, if I sack this, that won't work. Do I let them get two more counters on this thing? Nah. It's this. It's got to be this. Look at the blockers. These blockers can see us through. If they get aggressive, we get counter aggressive. Yep. I mean, we're priced in at this. At this point, we are casting the counter spell. No question. Only a Maniac would attack. Take out their only decent blocker, and they don't. See what we get. Inspector. All right, Glyph. Tail of the Angry Map Token. See if they can survive. Another demolition on top. They have to block in ways I'm sure they don't want to. And I don't know if they missed the glyph there or what, but that did it. Turn one, Inspector. Turn two, back it up with a counter spell. If we draw a red source, we get to do so much more. Let's see what happens. It's on the draw. Draw is hard. And go and turn one Epicure, so they might just be way too fast for us if next turn they do the Convokey thing and I don't get to counter the Knight. Tap land, got him. <laughs> yeah, back off. I'm a 1-2. I haven't gleeful yet either. It didn't gleeful. Crazy. All right, I'm holding up protocol. No need to show them red mana. I'm gonna kill the inspector. Yep. They have shock in their deck. Huh. Back up Epicur. Yep, bring it. Case. Do I have to counter the case? I'm kind of priced into a counter spell here. No, not really. We can crack the clue. Alright, you get a case. Without a toughness boost, it's not that bad. We'll just block their 1-1s with our 1-1s. Oh, look at them. They're afraid of resolute reinforcements. That's why you wait till end step. We bluffed the damage out of them. I wonder why they have shock in the deck. They just think that's how you fight lower curve decks in best of one. Guardian of the Great Door, a 4-4 flyer. 
I can surge it if I'm willing to get rid of an artifact. Which I could do next turn. I can play another Epicure, so I have another blood token. I can surge this. Which is better than using a protocol, because you have to stop the ETB abilities of these decks. We're really hoping, though, that they do not draw the Cavern of Souls. The longer we wait to use the counter spells, the bigger risk there is that they draw the Cavern. Stop guarding the great door. Doesn't want your help. That makes me a little salty. That's a that card will eventually get out of hand, and I hate having to do this. Especially if they follow it up with anything good. Uh okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. It's just attacking me for three. And then they're out of gas. All right. Wow. Um, I'm at 11. I have two pain lands and they're scooping. Boros is so soft. They have two blood tokens too. They get redraws. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Big Sui, Big S-O-O-I-E. Uh, thank you for becoming a member of the Cool Kids Club. I hope that you're enjoying access to the videos 24 hours early as well as other fun members only streams. Some aren't even that fun. I'll tell you, those of you who like to see me salty and just breaking down from the absolute torture that a Magic the Gathering Arena ladder experience can be, you get to see that in the members only stream too, like today's. It was something. It was special. Look, this deck is a lot of fun when things work out, and its explosive potential does show you some of what the format is capable of. It's definitely not my style. Making four one ones and then hoping that you get the job done with it? Not for me. I would prefer to just counter everything or blow up everything. That's my tendency. But for those of you wondering if Boros Convoke is all that the new set gave to the meta, well, it gave you these tools. There are more ways to use them, and that can be exciting in its own way. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.